everyone, it's Sue Ralph here with Birdcage Craft Studio. I'm back again with my crafting tip of the day. This is from me to you and it's number 31. And there are two tips I wanted to show you today. One is how you can actually get glitter around the uh, side of your project without getting glitter everywhere. I don't know if that's picking it up on the camera, but there's a line all the way around to make a frame. And also, if you've made yourself some small embellishments and you find it quite difficult to pick them up with tweezers or with your fingers, I have a little tool that I've just put together, a little pick-me-up tool, that actually does the job for you without too much hassle. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so first things first, the pick-me-up tool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put just a little bit of glue on my project. Okay, there's a couple of little dollops. And then I can use my pickup tool just to pick up the embellishments really easily, just to pop them in place. Just do a couple more here. And can you see how quick and easy that's been? And then obviously when I want to finish my card, I can then go on and just put more on there. Okay, so this is ever so easy to do. Um, I have just got a cocktail stick, well, a kebab stick, and I've covered it with... Uh, this is washi tape but did you know that the uh, Tombow glue from Stampin' Up is actually a uh, what do they call it a non-removable glue um, repositional glue so I couldn't get my words out then so but basically if you use this and you don't join two pieces of card or whatever together it will dry and then become repositional which is quite good for a few projects but the one idea that I'm using it for is to take your fine tip and just put a dollop of glue on top of the kebab stick, like so. And then just leave that for a good 24 hours to thoroughly dry out. So just leave it somewhere where it's not going to drip or anything. What you could do is put just a little bit of glue on it to start with. And then when it's semi-dried after a couple of hours, just put some more glue on. But I would give it a good 24 hours before you use it to make sure it dries thoroughly. Now it can be quite sticky. Um, when um, it's dried out so when it has totally dried out what you can do is just pop it onto your jumper and it picks up the bit of fluff from your jumper and then it doesn't become so sticky but then you can still use it for your project and it doesn't damage anything it just comes straight off and it doesn't leave any residue so that's the one tip and then the other one is how to get this fine glitter line around your project so again I'm going to be using my uh, Tombow glue and then what you want to do is you want to use either a crafting mat or I'm going to use my glass mat and you want to spread some glue out. Now the big side of the glue, the big top, people don't tend to use that so much but this is quite good because it has a spreader on it and you can spread some glue out onto your glass mat. Okay, And then get your project Okay, and then just literally pop it in the glue, just spread it uh, around just you know pull the card backwards and forwards and then in here I've got some glitter and then I'm just going to pop my glued edge of my card down and then you can see I have a nice line of glitter uh, another way you can do it is you get yourself a piece of sponge okay dab that into the glue just get some glue on it and then use it like you would when you were sponging and just sponge the edge like so and this is quite good to get into those sort of little corners that you might have chomped out okay just do that and then again put it into your glitter don't forget those chomped edges just a little flick off and then I don't know if the camera is actually picking this up very well but can you see I've got glitter in all those little chomped off bits now that's this is really easy to do it doesn't create too much mess and the other thing is that once you've finished your project you can then very carefully just decant it all back into your little tub and hopefully you won't get in too much of a mess i know some people really hate using glitter because they get covered but that's just the way that i will do this ever so simple to do you need to get yourself a piece of card. It doesn't have to be that big. I think this is probably about oh, six by three and a half, something like that. Fold it in half. Fold the one side down. 
and the other side so you end up with like a, a W or an M okay and this channel then in the middle this is your valley you can just pour your glitter into it okay and if you don't want to get your fingers in there that's fine just get your bone folder and just push it to the edges and then it's ready to go and pick up your project get some more glue on make sure you get into those chomped bits dip it into the glitter just give it a little tap and there we go you have your glittered line for your topper well I hope that tip well the two tips help you and I will be back tomorrow with another one to share with you so it's bye bye from me now bye